Ms. Duplessis, thank you for being with us. This disease is, in fact, close to your heart, isn't it? Yes, that is correct. Um, my son was diagnosed uh, 13 years ago, and um, at the time of his diagnosis, there was very little that was available to us as a family. Uh, treatment wasn't readily available, and, you know, my son was literally on death's doorstep, but he's a healthy young lad today. So there's a lot of hope. Firstly, what does Pompeii disease look like? So Pompeii disease is essentially, it's an it's a enzyme deficiency that results in an accumulation of glycogen in the muscle, which sounds very, very complicated. But essentially, if you equated it back to almost like a dustbin, um, the glycogen is essentially all the trash that you're throwing into that bin, but the body doesn't have the ability to be able to clean that dustbin out or break down um, like you would with recycling, etc. It doesn't have the ability to break that down. And as a result, um, all that trash, for lack of a better word, sits and accumulates in the muscle. And that obviously bec uh, becomes quite toxic to the muscle and ultimately results in the muscles not functioning properly. Um, it has massive impact on the cardiac, um, the cardiac muscle, so obviously the heart. Um, and patients generally battle with um, severe cardio um, megaly enlargement, um, as well as the fact that it, it affects every muscle, smooth muscle, from the top of your head right to the tips of your toes. So simple things like walking um, as a baby, rolling over, picking up a bottle, eating, all of those things are ultimately impacted um, by the fact that these organ systems are not working correctly. So how do you make the, the muscles stronger again? So it results in uh, treatments, which is an enzyme replacement therapy. And that is essentially an artificial form of what the body doesn't create on its own. Um, it's a very, very expensive condition to treat, um, often you know, exceeding millions of rands per year. But that ultimately is what is required to be able to get the body functioning on its own. And with early treatments and early intervention, these patients go on to live relatively normal lives. There's no cure at this point, and we live in hope that something curative will come in our lifetime, or certainly in my son's lifetime. Um, but at this stage, enzyme replacement therapy is what is available. But, you know, it gives these 